Today we are going to learn a little bit about how to upload your photos to Lightroom. And so I'm going to walk you through this process. Now I had all my photos taken on a camera. And so I've plugged in the memory card for my camera into the computer. And so when we're ready to start we're going to go import photos. So file import. And then this is going to pull up a big screen of all the different options that I've got. And so on here, I've got my EOS digital camera. Sometimes you can go into here to see what other options are available. Sometimes it's off your desktop. And so if that's the case, then you can go in there. For this one, here's my EOS digital. And so I'm going to go into here. Now, once I've got all of these pictures, so I'm just using a few of these right here. Okay, just as a couple of different photos. Now, when we save these, I want to make sure that you save them to the right spot. And so for now, we're going to be saving these to your desktop. So Macintosh hard drive, uh, I'm going to click on desktop. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it photo two. <clears throat> now, if you're in photo one, then you'll call it photo one. And so I create this folder. And so now this is the folder that I'm going to save everything to. Now on this side here, I've also got file handling. So this part's just fine. File renaming. So I want to rename the files. I don't want them all to be IMG 732. I want to rename them. Um, so I check on that box and then I'm going to go custom name sequence. And so I want to create the name custom name and then the sequence means for every photo it would be, you know, if this is a leading lines repeated shapes. So I would call it, you know, LLRS and then this would be dash one, dash two, dash three, and so on. So I'm just going to call this one, uh, let's call it uh, comps for compositions. So comps and then whatever the date might be. So this one's from April 13th. So I'm going to call it 413. Don't put any dots in there, anything else. <clears throat> just have it this. So comps 413. So it's compositions from 413. So I've got that, the destination, I've already included that part, so I know where my photo 2 is. Once I've got that done, then I hit import. And so now it's going to have a new folder. <clears throat> now this one is 2020, so that's the year that it's taken, and you can see how these photos are starting to upload. And once I get to that point, then I'm in pretty good shape. And so you can see different ways on how you can see them all. You can see how they're getting uploaded right here. So this is the whole uploading process. I can look at them in different ways. I can go into the folder and I can see what I've got, but you can see how at this point, this is what I have uploaded so far. And then once it's finished, this is all going to go away. Now I'm in my library right now, so I don't need to develop anything. So once I click on, since I've been clicked on library, I have everything right here. So now all my photos are uploaded and I uploaded 36 photos. So I have <clears throat> a couple photos of each. And so what I try to do with some of these is kind of a repeated shapes example, some kind of rule of thirds. Some are going to turn out, some aren't going to be very good, but I've got them all in here. Now I can look at these in different ways. So I can look at one at a time. Okay, so I can go through this way. So I can see them in different ways. I can look at two next to each other. I can look at three or four next to each other, but this one, I want them all the same so I can see them all. Now I can change the size of them so I can see more pictures in there. So I've got 36 pictures so I can see them all that way. Maybe I want them a little bit bigger, so I've got something like this. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with how this whole thing works. <clears throat> now the last thing I'm going to end up doing is I want to take a screenshot of all of this because I want to be able to look at this and I'm going to upload this file. So I'm going to actually, I have a Mac, so I go connect. Uh, command shift 4 and now I've got this little um, icon that shows up and this means I can create a screenshot and so I'm gonna have something just like that and so now it takes a screenshot that's gonna show up on my desktop and then I can use that later on now if I wanted all of the pictures in there now it's not gonna work for everything but because this is only 36 photos, but if I had 100, 200, 300 photos, I'm not going to be able to see them all. But if I want to take a picture of this one, Command, Shift, 4, go up here, and then I'm just going to click, drag. So I click, press down the whole time, drag, and then there's my screenshot. So that's the process of where I want to get you 
today. If you can get your photos uploaded this way, fantastic. Now maybe when you hit import, okay, it was easy for me because I had a memory card from a computer. But if you don't have yours, you might have them in downloads and your pictures might be in here. And then if you have to uncheck them, let's say I want to check these two and upload these, then I might just have to click on both of them. If I wanted all four of these, I might have to click on one. So I'll uncheck them all. Uh, click someplace else. Click here. If I want to check them all, I have to hold the shift key, click on that, and then don't hit check all because that would check all of the photos in this whole thing. Okay, see, we don't want that. So maybe I just want these first four. So I've got those four selected, and then I can check the box while they're highlighted, and then they all check, and then I can import them. But when I import them, I want to make sure that I'm able to send them to a certain destination. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind as you're going through this. Now, if I cancel this, I've got my folder here. Now I'll be able to edit these. And the next thing, when we want to edit them, then I'm going to go into develop. But that's going to be another tutorial. So for right now, I just want you to be comfortable with uploading your photos into this area. I can even go into this and I'm going to rename this file. And I'm going to call it just the same name as the file, 413. I put a slash on this one or a dot just so, because with this, the those won't matter. You don't want the dots or anything or spaces when you save your file. You just want it as is. But with this, I can put the space in. I can put a dash or a period or a slash, whatever. So then I know what 413 comps, this is what this assignment was. And then I save it. Now I've got that. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to help you. Thanks.